Hi, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be looking at a quick game played uh, between Brave and Kasparov. Now, uh, Brave being a very strong Grandmaster, I mean, he had a rating of 2700 approximately during this game, and um, very few people at that time could uh, maintain a rating like that. But, you know, he was playing against Kasparov, the world champion, possibly the greatest player of all time. So, probably Kasparov prepared some sort of King's Indian. Not to mention this was also a rapid game. So, castles, and Brave now made a move that I don't like. It's this e3. Now, uh, Brave wants to probably play some solid chess, and probably the best thing to do is to play a move like g3 instead, to play solidly, because uh, I think he just wanted to, you know, play and we kind of make a very solid drop. That's my theory. Who knows? But the reason why I don't like this is because what happens is that we get a semi, well, we get a, ter a Tarash variation, but only um, uh, reversed. And uh, now it's basically a Tarash, but with an extra tempo as, uh, extra tempo because it's White was the one who has the Tarash position and he was the one who moves first, rather than a defense against the White's move d4. And uh, Black has ideal construction of g6 and bishop g7 against it. And h3, so this, um, plays against the move bishop g4. Uh, that's why probably white is about equal here because uh, bishop, uh, because he's using his extra tempo, against this, because bishop g4 will undermine the protection of the d4 pawn. Um, so bishop f5 was played. Now, the Tarash is known to be uh, worse for black if uh, white plays against it, but it would, if black plays against it, uh, you know, white has the extra tempo. So it probably should be equal. But I really do not like this move c takes d5. Because white uh, wants to wait for black to take on c4. And when the bishop takes on c4, the bishop will be better on c4 than on e2. And after, maybe rookie one's the best move here. But after the move uh, c d5, the knight comes to this gorgeous square on d5. And but Brave had an idea by this. He played this move queen b3. And here I would recommend you to pause the video and come up with the move that Kasparov Okay. Bishop e6. Um, Kasparov recognizes that now black has the initiative. And now knight e3 is a big threat. So the question is what happens on move queen takes b7? Well, knight d4, knight d4, bishop d4. Um, so... Originally, I was, when I was looking at this, I thought rook to d1. But once I analyzed it, probably rook b8, queen a6, knight b4, queen a4, and queen b6, and now there's a big attack on the f2 pawn. So I think uh, bishop h6 was the best move, as was played in the game. Rook b8 anyway. Queen a6. Rook takes b2. Uh, an excellent move. Now, Basically, Black is saying, take my exchange, and now I have two very active bishops. And uh, I also have a pawn for the exchange, and I'm going to probably win your a2 pawn. So uh, rook ad1 probably was the best move in this position. But at the very least, I could take on a2, and on the move queen d3, I have this move rook a4. Well, not I, well, Kasparov, but, you know. And this looks totally... This looks just amazing for black. I mean, he has two pots for the exchange. He has two bishops. Maybe white can play bishop g4 here, but okay. I mean, still, uh, black has some extreme winning chances here, I think. However, Brave makes this move a4. And um, I would recommend you, again, to pause the video and come up with the move that Kasparov played in the game. All right, so sometimes uh, when you make a move, the piece that you moved or the pawn that you moved, was defending a square. And you know when you move it, it of course attacks another, or defends another square. However, you move it away from the defense of the, of the square that it was originally defending. Rook b3, a very strong move. And now there are so many threats against the white king. Rook to g3, rook h3. Rook ad1 was played in the game. And after the move rook g3, here Yevgeny Berev resigned. So, um, it, it, I find it amazing how Kasparov, you know, took the initiative against such a strong grandmaster as Black. Okay, it was a rapid game, yes, but 
it was um, the, his play was very sophisticated, was extremely sophisticated. I mean, it's not easy to beat Brave in less than twenty moves, and as Black, and that is why Kasparov was maybe the greatest player of all time. I mean, he uh, knew how to outplay very strong grandmasters, you know, uh, as as Black, just and take the initiative against them. And there, Kasparov is the player that understood initiative and calculation the best amongst all maybe world champions and uh, and all players. So um, uh, thank you for watching. If you have any other suggestions for any uh, other games that I should show on my channel, please leave in the comments. Thanks.